YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to 60 Seconds. In this video, we are gonna go for the perfect ending. We're gonna get everyone into the bunker, and we are also gonna get as much stuff as possible, and then try to keep everyone alive throughout the whole journey. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it, but let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game, let's go. Okay, we need so many things. It's gonna be very difficult to get it all. Let's get some food first. We need to scout as well. I don't see map. Uh, I hear Mary Jane. We're gonna try so many things today. Uh, Mutant Mary Jane is number one. As I said, we'll just get four food, four water. Go, go, go. Uh, get some water here. I'll get some of this. I could have picked that up later, probably. We need some friends as well. Let's get all the family members, because that's another thing I want to do. I want to survive with everyone if it's possible. That would be another I get the tank ending if possible. I'll grab this. I'll grab the book because the book is insane. The map is that one? Oh my god, that's so lucky that that's one. Okay, we can grab all. We don't have much water. We need to get some water. And we need a radio as well. We need Mary Jane. Obviously, this is a pretty important part of the Mary Jane strategy. Uh, we don't have any radio yet, which is kind of unfortunate. Is the radio here? I'll grab the suitcase because it probably has the radio in there. Grab the suitcase. Grab the gas mask. Yes, and now we need more. Can I fucking get out of here? Uh, I need more water and food. Grab it. Just grab everything you can from here. I don't know what I'm missing. I'm probably missing a lot. Just grab everything. Just go, 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 go. All right. That's a lot of food. I think we have way too much food uh, and not enough water, but it is what it is. We don't, We have the map and we have the radio. Those are like number one. We also have the suitcase, right? Which is going to have another thing. I think that was a pretty good, pretty good run. Uh, but they've met, set it up in a way that you cannot possibly get everything you need. So what? as I was saying, I was a little busy. Uh, wait. Oh, we did not get the radio. I thought I got the radio. Oh, I got the suitcase, which I assumed had the radio in it. Okay, so never mind. We don't have the radio. Hopefully, we can get it from an expedition because we're going to send Timmy right away with the suitcase, maybe. I don't think we're going to send actually Timmy with the suitcase. Anyway, uh, what did we get? Because I didn't get much there, did I? Okay, I got this as well as the bug spray, which I just took the bug spray. I didn't take it on purpose because we don't really need it because we're going to be farming for Mutant Mary Jane. But anyway, I think that's still a solid setup. It's just the radio we're really going to get. But we're going to get it on our first expedition, I'm telling you. All right, obviously, we're not going to feed any anyone. Oh, dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. We're going to do that once we get out of here. Hopefully, maybe we'll get the tank ending as well. So I want to do three things. Mutant Mary Jane, that's number one. Uh, she's going to become all crazy. Uh, and then the second one is survive with everyone. That's going to be really difficult. And the third one is maybe do the tank ending if we can. Uh, we can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We've heard that it's, that's the best way to get to Europe. Ted is fine. Everyone's going to be fine for a while. Uh, the comments were very adamant about me feeding them every five days. But we had a really good strategy where we... On the second day of dehydration and starvation, we feed and give them water. That worked absolutely amazing, and it saved us a ton of food. So I think we're going to stick to that again. We're going to do an immediate expedition because I want to try and get a radio because we really need that. Um, wouldn't you know it? Our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary for some reason. Okay, don't do this one. For some reason, she was hiding it in the scout book. We keep in our shelter. We have no doubts what needs to be done right now. Each of us must be assigned a role, and the diary must be read out loud. No, this actually killed Dolores last time because she'll go, like, insano style and hurt people. So we're not going to do that. And it's also just completely evil for no reason. Um... I love this game, dude. We're gonna be playing 60 parsecs. I just have a few more goals in this game that I want to achieve before we hop into 60 parsecs, which is like the second, the, the next game that is like this one. But it's in space, I heard. Mary Jane thanked us for respecting our privacy. She then ripped out and tore all of the pages, set them on fire, stomped on them, and fed them to a mutated rat outside. A bit excessive, but we all feel better now that it's been dealt with. Dealt with. We still wonder what she wrote about us, though. Okay, does anyone need food? Thirsty already. Okay, well, that's fine. We're gonna feed. The, we're gonna give them water on the fifth day, probably. Okay, we're gonna send Timmy out there, obviously. We're not gonna give him the uh, the gas mat. I mean, actually, because we don't have the radio. You know what? Because we don't have the radio, we cannot possibly get the event from the military where we can get supplies. So we can actually send him with the gas mask because it doesn't really matter. And then he has a higher chance to come back alive and get us a working radio, hopefully. I don't know. Um... 60 par 6 is way harder. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, Timmy's going outside. That's perfect. Everyone's going to be dehydrated now. We're going to give them water on the fifth day. Uh, it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't... Oh, yeah, we don't have a mechid. Um, 
We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Okay, this is... We're gonna get immediate crazy Ted. Is that what's gonna happen here? Because there's a chance if you do this without medkit, which I would have done even if I had the medkit, someone goes crazy. I don't think I've ever seen crazy Dolores. What does she do? Okay, no one's crazy. That's good. <laughs> I I know she does like the chicken dance. He gets a, a a hand puppet. I don't know what Dolores does when she's crazy. Bravely enduring, in, ignoring our symptoms. We tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. And there are other problems we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Okay, so they're probably tired now, which is very unfortunate, but what was I gonna do? Okay, only Ted is tired. Fuck that. We're gonna get water. That doesn't matter, because Ted's useless anyway. I mean, maybe we should send him. Last time, we just completely ditched Ted. We didn't even take him into the bunker with us, but this time, we wanna... Oh, is this it? Wait. After all the days we spent down... Oh, no. Spent down here. We're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed it. Now we're about to get sick, so why not take a shower? We don't have soap, but there are other alternatives to consider. So, from the YouTube comments, which I'm gonna trust the YouTube comments, there are three events that can give us Mutant Mary Jane. The first one is the spider one, which is the only one I knew about before uh, the YouTube video. Second one is apparently the pipe event, the, the green goo coming from the pipe. And then the third one is the roaches. So this is not one of those. So I'm gonna actually use the bug spray here so we don't get everyone sick. Because I think if you do this, everyone gets uh, si sick. And this is not gonna trigger mutant Mary Jane anyway. So it would just be a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, the bug spray here is gonna... It's gonna just keep us all alive. Their hair is starting to look a little worse, but that's totally fine. Okay, we finally have a good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to become a bit more presentable smell-wise anyway. All right, so everyone's gonna be... Uh, yeah, everyone's totally fine. You're just tired, but that doesn't matter. There's a, there isn't a lot of space down here. We can smell everything. When one of the bricks got loose today and re revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's a smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Um, so I think last time a rat came out and broke our radio. But we don't have a radio. So, yes? What's the chance? It's going to break our map? Don't make me laugh. It's going to break our map, isn't it? <laughs> you better not. Okay, didn't do anything. What did, what did we get from that? Did we get food? We did get food. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come out at a, come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He filled miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Okay, let's go. So we get a free, a free food, and now they're going to get hungry, but we're only going to feed them on day 10, I think is how that goes. Uh... We've been wondering what happened to our uncle Brian. He should have been far from here where the far from he should have been far from where the bombs fell, but no one knows for sure. It would be great to find out. He always looked on the bright side of life, so maybe we should too, but it's not easy. Say, didn't we have a photo of him tucked away in one of the books at home? So we're gonna that's easy. Uh, when I see the book, I'm like, is this gonna be spider? We get a phone call already. Wait, is that the twins immediately? That's so fast. That's huge. Bingo! Our scout handbook holds more than a ton of knowledge useful in times of the apocalypse. There are some photos stuck in between its pages long ago, uh, along with some crosswords. We are saved. Only a few of them are solved. Okay. Um, we're not going to feed yet. Yes, we're just going to have to pay attention to that. So that's already the phone call. We're going to send Dolores out there. She's never done, done wrong with this. So this is going to start the twins ending, which our second objective was keeping everyone alive. So if we can do that... We'll do that, you know? If we can go rush to an ending, that'd be amazing. Let me answer the phone. We could clearly hear a gasp of release. Yeah, they're the people from Hill Valley, the twins that are gonna need a lot of resources from us, goddammit. So they're dehydrated and starving today, which means we're gonna... You're not starving, so we're not gonna feed Mary Jane. But everyone needs food and water tomorrow, except Mary Jane, who only needs water. All right. What the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They are driving us crazy. Is something crawling in the air vents? Relax. Take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing them down. Maybe try something relaxing for a bit. It would actually be really funny to get people insane, but we have the stuff, so we might as well keep them sane for now because they are they are just going to feed cockroaches and stuff. Yeah, we got a ton of food. And we don't really care for the cars. Uh, and they didn't even break it, so that's even better. Uh, having some fun made us forget about... What was it again? 
Okay, so now they need food, water, food, water, and water, and you probably need food tomorrow. So yeah, Mary Jane tomorrow is Mary Jane only food. That's all. Uh, if there's anyone who can, yeah, so this is where we would have really liked the radio, so that's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, oh, Timmy's gonna come back with a radio right now. No, Timmy, how could you? What did he find? Um, this one, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We set off for an expedition to the nearby zoo we used to visit on weekends. We're happy to report that it was a productive supply run as well as an educational trip. We saw pterodactyls, shimp and deers, and per wait, pterodactyl whales, shimp, shimp and deers, and porcuponies, and a, a small army of cat roaches and other majestic creatures that have emerged among the post nuclear fauna. A day 11 already? Running away from the humongous tarantulaptors, we made our escape through the zoo souvenir shop. Most of it was torn to shreds by the bomb, but a few useful things were still lying around. We spotted some sort of vehicle down the road. This is another thing. The vehicle ending will be amazing, but couldn't get a good enough look at it in the dark. Maybe future expeditions will prove more fruitful. Okay, so Timmy did terrible? Timmy fucked up? How could it? How could he? Timmy never messes up. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna have to feed uh, the, the the parents. That's unfortunate. We're gonna do an obvious immediate expedition because uh, we need a radio and we need other stuff. I don't know if we actually need the radio for the twins ending. I don't think we do, so we can just do that instead. Um, the kids have been all fidgety lately. They miss running around and playing games with each other in their rooms. Even though the shelter is way smaller than their bedrooms, there's some space in front of the table that seems perfect for wildly sprinting around and playing tag. Should we let them play? I mean, we can because we don't have a radio. Usually, this would break the radio. Here, we don't give a shit because... Wait, Timmy is not hungry, right? No, Timmy's fine. Uh, because we don't have a radio. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we need a radio for the twins. So, this actually... This is not better not break the map. I swear to fuck. Okay, it didn't break anything. Yeah, we would like to get an axe though, for sure. We got food? The kids were ecstatic. Watching them play was a real treat. They looked so happy when Mary Jane pushed Timmy around. He fell face first on, a, on, on an unopened can that was hidden in the corner of the shelter behind some empty bottles. What a lucky day for us and we're sure Timmy's face will be just fine. Okay, so we actually got, we have so much food, dude. We got nine plus food. We're just low on water. So we're obviously gonna have to send someone out there. Who do we send out there? Is Ted still tired? Ted is t not tired. We're sending Ted out there. I'm not even going to feed him. And I'm going to just send him... I don't think I give him anything. I'm sorry, Ted. Go fuck yourself. Ted does not... Uh, maybe he needs... Is there... Maybe he needs a gas mask. He needs food. Maybe he needs food. All right, let's give them food because I know they need it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you need... We'll just give you food right now. We'll give everyone food today because we got so much food anyway. No one is dehydrated, so that's good. All right, we'll send Ted out there um, with... I mean, honestly, just nothing. I mean, he's not going to come back, which will ruin our... You know, let's just give him the gas mask because I want him to come back um, so that we can keep everyone alive. If we can keep three people alive, that's already good because that's like... That would be a new personal best because we've only ever survived with two people and ted is kind of a piece of shit i gotta say i've i've <laughs> ted is annoying sometimes uh no one's okay you're dehydrated so you need water tomorrow uh wait oh spiders we're either going crazy or this entire shelter scrawling with little insects or worse it's worse they're spiders and not some miniature ones but huge furry and very creepy beasts we've got to do something about them no we don't is this it Day 14 already? What? Does it slowly turn her into a mutant or is it random? We decided we could get rid of the spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll get more luck next time. It's random? Okay, so at least, all right, Jesus, it's also random. At least we know the three events that will cause it and we're just gonna farm them. That was a, that was a good, at least we got it already. That's pretty solid. Uh, so we need to give water to Timmy and then they need water tomorrow. All right, they got tired. Uh, we'll get it though, don't worry. All right, we're, we don't have a radio, so. I did not know it was random. It's, it's, that's so hard then. We're gonna do it though, don't worry. I want that achievement. Uh, this ignores this bliss, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so everyone, need, you need water, you need water, and you need food tomorrow. All right, so Mary Jane needs food tomorrow. 
Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand. God damn it, Timmy. You really are a piece of shit, huh, this round? Uh, and the wound was infected. It doesn't look like it's healing up. We have to patch it. No, we can't. So, uh, Timmy, it's time to die. <laughs> oh, no. Stevie Stefano, thank you for the gentle little donation. Thank you. Oh, God. Someone's knocking on the door. Timmy is sick. Well, at least he's not hurt. Uh, best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. Mm. That's what our grandma always said. Of course, she's dead now, and she has been for a while, ever since she got that nasty frog bite at the fine age of 25? <laughs> How does that work? Okay, so you're starving. You're starving. I oh, will feed everyone. We have enough food. Okay, we can trade. We don't have anything, brother. Ted needs to come back with some good shit, or we're fucked. <laughs> Come on, Ted. Bring us a radio. We need water as well. Water desperately. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so everyone got fed. No one needs water either. That's good. Uh, God damn it, we're getting so many radio events. That's so annoying. I mean, that's kind of what happens if you don't have radio. You just get spammed with them. It happens. That's the fun part about this, though, that you can just know that next round... Oh, I'll make sure to get, to get that thing, and you'll do better next round. And maybe, Sometimes you pull out, like, a crazy victory. Uh, I've seen wilder stuff happen in this game. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You're just talking about the radio event. Uh, when we opened this shelter door today, we saw a letter lying on the ground. It was a cry for help from a group of friendly survivors nearby. Or at least that's who they claim to be. They're asking us to bring some supplies over to set a location, to set location and they're giving us their word... Okay, so this is the twins ending. We're actually on path for the twins ending, and they asked ask the one thing that we really don't care about. So this is amazing. Twins ending is going great. Uh, you're dehydrated, which he wasn't dehydrated yesterday, right? So we can wait and drink tomorrow. That's actually really good. That's a that's a pretty fast twins. Uh, I'll take it. I'm a, I'm pretty sure he was. He's fine. Uh, Ted is back. Water, water, Ted, water, water. Water and a radio. Ted's actually back. All right, Ted's back in my good graces. I apologize to all the, the smack I talked about you, Ted. You're insane. The author of the note turned out to be the twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They greeted us happily and took us to a small tent where they started handing out the supplies we brought to a group, a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were people of all ages, including children, the elderly, and even a mime. The siblings shook our hands and proclaimed this is the beginning of a new friendship. They promised to contact us again very soon. That is safely returned from his voyage to the surface. He even he didn't even break the freaking gas mask, dude. Government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares and can be easily seen, but most of them are barely reachable. Despite that, a lot of them were already ransacked by scavengers. How did they do that? One of the food drops broke in midair, and now it's raining soup. Luckily for us, a few can survive the fall. That's good. Some crates were filled with very weird stuff. Why did they drop a crate full of rubber ducks? At least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles in it. Two water as well? Ted, you're insane. Our neighbors from another shelter gave us a radio. They said they found it in one of the dropped crates, but they already had a working radio. A radio as well? You're actually cracked, dude. Okay, Ted is amazing again. The vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress we observed it from afar who could the owner be we've kept our distance for the time being but we may want to take a closer look in the future this could potentially be our ticket out of here so this one is this ending right we've already built it up quite a bit we're still probably missing wheels though so now the question is i'm assuming that if you do many many expeditions you get chances to build on your vehicle so we could do another expedition to try and get uh more done on the vehicle did he get anything more Gonna future dude that's crazy man ted is insane all right who needs that you need water i know that you need water tomorrow because they are they were not dehydrated yesterday right yeah wheels should help <laughs> probably okay so let's see who's in good shape we could send dolores out there but the third expedition is usually quite risky and people might die yeah i'll i'll hate ted again once he messes up the next time <laughs> Mm, so we can send another expedition. Dolores is in pretty good shape. And we're not going to send Ted. He's too weak to do expeditions at the moment. Uh, I don't want to send Mary Jane because then we miss out... Oh, God, sorry for the sound. Then we miss out on the um, on the mutant event. So it's either Dolores or it's no one. 
Yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't... Oh, this is good. Well, I mean, it usually repairs something that was broken down. Uh, that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-disestablementarianism. And it has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home or rather shelter schooling Mary Jane's a little. Usually this repairs something. I don't know if I can find a new item, so we're definitely going to do this one. All right, so the question is... Do we do expedition or do we... I don't think we can bank on the fact that this will make us to the twins ending. And there's also a good chance that it will need an axe for the twins ending. So we're going to get stuck and then we're going to really be screwed. Um, so we feed them tomorrow. I think I think we got to... We got to think long term that the chance of us surviving with this till we get an ending is very low. Um, so we'll and the Loras is in pretty good shape and we need a med kit potentially as well So there's a lot of chances of us getting stuck So we're gonna do an expedition send the Loras out there and the Loras is gonna come back. I trust in the Loras She's cracked. We all know this uh, Timmy looks very bad right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Timmy looks like he's seen better days the Loras does not mess around with Sarah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it improves. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shell. Oh, no, don't tell me the Loras is tired, too. Okay, she is not. We need to give them water. Um, and we can give them food tomorrow. But we'll give the Loras food. Ah, we'll feed them now. Because we have so much food. Look how much fucking food we have. It's crazy. All right, the Loras is going out there. What's she getting sent with? We could use... We could use suitcase and go absolutely ham giving her stuff. Does giving her stuff make her more likely to come back? So if we give her this, the gun, the book, and like the gas mask, will that like ensure her return? Or will we get like absolutely screwed and lose all these? I don't know. Being fed helps. Yeah, I'm giving her food. Um... I'm gonna assume that that'll help, but you can also lose it all. I mean, we don't really need these items. So let's try this. It does help. All right, let's do that. Uh, did I? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so hopefully she'll be fine. <laughs> and she'll also potentially bring back more items. Okay, Delor or Mary Jane looks a little worse for wear. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We need, I think, what, again, Timmy? Didn't we feed you yesterday? All right, we're gonna need water for Ted tomorrow, right? We didn't do that yesterday. He wasn't dehydrated. The gun can break. I know it can. Okay, we can trade this. This is terrible. We don't want to trade this at all. I think Ted tomorrow, right? I'm pretty sure Ted tomorrow, right? Otherwise, we're gonna die and then it's all ogre. Hopefully. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Just get the shit out of me. Okay, we turned her down because we don't want to trade. Now you need water. Um... And they don't need anything, so that's good. A sleazy looking trader, we can get the cat. <laughs> Do we want the cat? I mean, it, we have so much food, we might as well, honestly. He offered us a simple one time deal for just one cat of soup. We can get the bag and all its contents. We can't see what's inside. Yeah, sure, we'll get the cat. We gotta get the cat. It's for you. This one's for you guys. All right, no one is thirsty or hungry, so tomorrow we give them nothing. All right, here you go. Cat. We, we did the cat ending before, it was absolutely amazing. It's not what you think it is. It's very wild, the cat ending. Okay, so we traded the cat as soon as the door closed by the trader. The bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sherikov. Is that its name? Okay. So no one needs food right now. You need water tomorrow, Timmy. All right. Timmy is very bored. Is bored out of its mind. And he won't leave Ted alone. First, he wanted to play tag. Now it's hide and seek, which are both terrible ideas for a small shelter like this. Ted is in a bad mood today and just wants to be left alone. But Timmy isn't giving up. How about charades? Okay, Ted is probably too tired to do. Let's just do it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, is Timmy gonna die? Don't die, please, Timmy. Yeah, there's so many different Ted or uh, cat endings I've heard. Okay, Ted is fine. And we didn't break anything. This really wasn't the best matchup. One moment, Ted and... Wait, what? Ted and Timmy were calmly writing down riddles. The next day, we were screaming at each other, accusing the other of cheating. How do you even cheat at this game? <laughs> okay, they're just screaming. You need... Do we feed them now? I think we feed them tomorrow, right? No one was... No one was hungry or thirsty yesterday, right? So it's tomorrow. Okay, we can do radio now to get access to military ending, potentially. 
Um, feed tomorrow. Timmy had starvation? Timmy is not, does not even have starvation. Timmy needs water? Oh yeah, Timmy was dehydrated. You guys are so, we almost killed Timmy. Holy fuck. <laughs> Okay, Dolores really hopes she comes back. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communications in a few days. Okay, so we're gonna, all, we're also on track for the military ending, so starving, starving, thirsty, starving, sure, it's fine. Uh, what? Played a game of, oh, so this one, what did, this made someone hurt, right? We played a game of list of things that you hate the most in our neighbor, Neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. This, you can do this without ruining the twins ending. We know that. Uh, reminded us the little weasel had a safe in his room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis. I think Timmy, honestly, he's already sick anyway. So if he gets like gas grenaded, he, he's already sick. So what's the matter, right? Timmy's already screwed. Wait, what? What was the sound? I heard a weird sound. What did, did something happen? Oh, when we opened the safe, we heard a loud bang and the room was fi filled with thick, nasty smoke that fell, smelled of rotten eggs. The bastard booby trapped the safe. Sure, it slowed us down, but it didn't stop us from taking his most prized possessions. Take that, Ned. Too bad we won't ever get the stench of our clothes now. Okay, so he is stinky, but that doesn't matter because we have a mech kit so he can heal, heal himself, dude. Let's go. I honestly... I honestly think we wait for now. So I know you guys hate it when I do this, but we wait for now until he gets the next phase of sickness. Then we heal him because it'll kill him. And we can also potentially further the twins ending if we get the bad outcome and they want this. So I think we have to wait for it at least now, but we are planning to save Timmy. Don't you worry. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ted was not dehydrated yesterday, unless I didn't check. Uh, we really missed the life we had, the space, the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to a time before this damn bob bomb drop. Was that true? Oh, we don't have the red ha handprint. That doesn't show up for this. Um, yeah, the cake is a lie. All right, we're going to assume that that's fine. Save our boy Timmy, because we need to save our water as much as possible. Cat is meowing. Oh, boy. Uh, fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Okay, so the, he needs water now. Water. You need... No one needs anything else. Cherokov is still a fresh addition to our family, so we need to keep an eye on it. And believe it or not, just today we noticed something else on its collar. It seems to be a metal place with an adders on it, and it's not far. So let's do something different. I always say yes here, and that led to the spy ending. So let's say no. Let's just spice it up, do something else, see where that leads, because this is like one of the first choices. Let's just let's see where this where this ends us up. This one isn't the spy. Oh, Dolores is back, baby. Water, water, water. Dolores broke uh, the gas mask. She brought this cat belongs to us now. It's our new dear friend and a valuable addition to our bunker. We managed to use it as a pillow for a whole 10 seconds yesterday before it almost scratched our eyes out. Clearly, it's very fond of us. It's staying, and that's final. Okay, we'll see. Cat, cat ending. Here we go. <laughs> True cat ending. We were glad to see the lords come back safely from the wasteland. It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the sea wave drowned half of it. We were hoping it wasn't the better half. The half-drowned container in the back was labeled nothing important. It was full of ammo, okay? The checkers board... So it's definitely some smuggle stuff. The checkers board was floating on the surface. It took us only 12 hours to find all the pieces to make it playable. Time well spent. Are you sure? The scout handbook was really useful. Too bad we lost it during the expedition. Damn it, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. Okay, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um... So you need food tomorrow, you need water tomorrow. Food and water tomorrow. Can we do... Ted is happy to risk his life. Honestly, I mean... <laughs> yeah, losing the scout handbook is a bit unfortunate. We could send Ted out there. <laughs> He's in good shape. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Honestly, if it's safe and we, we need more of water. Like, there's no way we'll survive with this and four people for like another 20, 30 days. So we have to, uh, there's no there's no choice. So tomorrow we need to do food for Mary Jane, water for Timmy, and that's it. Uh, the siblings have visited us today. They told us they were searching for the town, 
They're searching the town for a safe space that would do well as a possible camp. So far, their group has been living in a tent, but they're picking up more wastelanders every day, and they simply don't have enough space. They mentioned that a map of the neighborhood could be very helpful in their situation. Wait, that's huge, dude! We, we might need to book later, though. Okay, so this is really lucky that we're getting stuff for this event. I think there's one more after this, and then it's already victory, which we speed ran this one, basically. Um, which is good. Are you agony? No, you're just fine. Um, so I guess we're going for that. Uh, the, hey, thank you for the donation. Beyonce and I just finished playing Phasmo. Hope you're having fun. Um, we still play Phasmo even after all these years. Can you believe that? Uh, they didn't have to ask twice. These people are very friendly and the way they take care of others is impressive. We showed them the map and pointed out a few bandit camps that they should avoid. They were grateful and stayed for a little chat. They said they would be more than happy if we came back to visit them once their camp is ready. We can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, we need food and water and let's see what else. Okay, we need food for Timmy tomorrow. Uh, and we need water for Mary Jane tomorrow. We need food for... Okay, what is this combination here? Food. We'll give her food now because we're sending you out, right? Oh, no, no, no. We're not sending you out. We're sending Ted out. So let's give... Oh, but he's fatigued. Does fatigue doesn't matter, right? Hmm. Does fatigue matter for the expedition? What does it say? I don't know if it matters. He wasn't fatigued yesterday. That's very annoying. Um. But we need... Water... And food, so you don't need food right now. It means he needs to go out. Okay. Um, so food, water, food. That's the combo for tomorrow. Food, water, food. Uh, you're not deceased, right? No, you're totally fine. Totally fine. We're gonna send ten out there. What is he gonna take? Can he just take the suitcase and then come back with more? Is that a thing? <laughs> can I just give him the suitcase? And maybe the checkerboard so he can trade it? I think we're doing that. Take the ammo? Wow, how would that even help him at all? And the cards? Checkerboards and cards? All right, sure. We'll give... I mean, Ted did insane last time, so he actually deserves having... Ammo is also currency. All right, sure. We'll give him literally every single thing that can be used for currency. There we go. We'll give him all... Or do we have the gun? We can give him gun and ammo. Ooh, that's actually kind of sick. Give him gun and ammo so he definitely comes back safe. You know what? Sure, we'll do that. We'll give him gun and ammo so he comes back, uh, for sure. Hopefully. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I hope it's gonna work out as. Uh, okay. Yeah, he can't reload the gun with, with checkerboard pieces. That's not how that works. Alright, so he's going out with a ton of stuff. He better come back, otherwise I hate you immediately again. It was, um... Food, water, food, right? Food, water, food. So you need water tomorrow. Uh, water tomorrow. So we're, by the way, if you're confused how we're doing this, we figured out that you can, if it's just starvation, you can wait one day, then you have to feed them. Otherwise they have a chance of dying. So we're just doing, we're just making sure that we give them water and food the, the next day. Uh, the vehicle that was spotted on early expedition turned out to not be a shameless bandit trap. For now, it was a tank armored with metal grills with an actual antique cannon fitted on top and all covered with colorful graffiti. It was missing wheels, but we're sure we can make it functional again with the proper equipment. Sure, we got to do this. This actually leads us closer to the tank ending. We'll do that for sure. Let's go. Ted bow to ruin his reputation. What? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Our harmonica was sacrificed for the greater good. Using the metal plates, we spa painstakingly unscrewed wheels from various junked cars all around the neighborhood and fitted them onto our makeshift vehicle. If only we could drive this thing out of here. Alas, no gas. Okay, we actually got wheels now. We got wheels for our truck. We just need gas and then it's done? Okay, so one more time and then we can actually get the vehicle ending. Nice. Now, let's see. We need water for you. And that's it. All right. Hopefully Ted comes back. We're in regular... We're a regular family, so we have the occasional arguments or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last long. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's hope that Ted comes back, because if he doesn't come back, we're fucked. <laughs> we are not gonna... Cat. We're not gonna have enough... Um, water to survive very long we stopped arguing but for how long okay let's see you need no one needs anything that's good and stimmy is still only sick we've been hearing some soft scratchy noises in the shelter at night we thought it was just the wind but we were wrong it's the cat 
It's not really doing anything na naughty. It seems like it just squeezes through some holes in the wall and makes its way outside. We're not sure where it goes during these secret trips, but every morning it's back in the shelter like nothing happened. Should we follow it next time it sneaks out? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. I want to see more cat stuff. We're going to get more cats. Oh, wait, what? Cherkov took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited only by a lone resident, a self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The dog seemed happy to have his pet back. Although, the, okay, so there's so many different paths with the cat. Holy shit. I thought that the... So this is another one, and then obviously they're saying, no, you're maybe going to collect more cats or something. Like, is they're going to get children or baby cats. Uh, kittens, as they're called. Uh, the dog seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect of it. We exchanged some small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in a spaceship. Okay, let's see if we'll... Hopefully, he'll come back at one point. So, we need food tomorrow, food tomorrow, water. So, food, food, water. Food, food, water. All right, we got that. What's glowing in your... Okay, so this one, the glowing ants, right? Let's read it. What's that glowing in your pocket, Timmy? Oh, no. Mutated ants. They're terrifying little mandibles. Almost gave Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out, but Timmy says it's the beginning of an atomic ant farm. One of them has to have it their way, but who? I'm assuming this does not trigger mutant Mary Jane, right? People said three things. Spider, pipe, roaches. So then we just do this. Right? We can also skip because I don't want to fucking have mutant... <laughs> The ants in the thing. Okay, so let, let's just stick to that. Okay, Tad is back, dude. He's going to be carrying again. Oh my God, he's actually back. He actually brought some water too. He did break the gun, but that's fine. Uh, on the topic of atomic ant farms, Dolores put her foot down several times. She swatted and sobbed furiously with a look of glee on her face until all the insects were dealt with. Timmy was mortified. Tad has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. He kept the ammo. Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything. He's sick, though. That's annoying. Um, you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey who seemed like it's been through a lot, and yet it was very lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. A monkey? At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Because we have one water. Then the trip, we lit a fire to warm up a bit. It wasn't long before we had a few band bandits standing next to our fireplace, demanding we give them all of our supplies. In a sudden rush of adrenaline, we decided to toss a few bullets into the fire. What follows is a barrage that sent those bastards running with their pants on fire. In their haste, they even forgot a few of their belongings. We get that. We got the book, which we can use for the twins ending. Damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. The checkers are gone. Gone! They didn't make it back from the waste. So much for a rifle. Okay, so Ted lost a lot, but I still think we're going to say that was... I mean, that wasn't a very good expedition, Ted. I'm sorry. A little trip to, at least he survived uh might have been spotted and followed okay so now we're gonna get bandits all right this is unfortunate we need food for you water for you or food for you and water for timmy and then food really this was food food water so then tomorrow it's water for mary jane and food for timmy okay water mary jane food for timmy Remember that? So do we... So we can obviously send Mary Jane out there if we want to, like, have the best character go out. I don't know. There's a... So we are one event away from completing the twins quest line. Then they need to come back. So that's going to be at least 10 more days. And I don't think with two water we can keep four people fed. So I think it's time for Mary Jane... To go on a trip and maybe sacrifice herself to save the greater good. And then we could set a new PB with three people surviving. Um, because I just don't think... Yeah, we really need the supplies. I think Mary Jane is going to carry us and she'll come back. Today an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just say, it, call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us from here. But they went over several things that needed to happen. They do it before they do it. First item on the list is up to us. We were given gear geographical corners and need to get out there to leave a sign that we're still alive 
Should be easy with the map. Okay, we gotta do this so that we further this ending. Just in case we get horribly stuck on the twins ending somehow. Uh, so water, food tomorrow. Remember that? Alright, I think it's Mary Jane. Mary Jane's gonna carry us. Trust me. Why not send Dolores? Because she's gonna die, right? Don't break the map, please. Okay, didn't break the map. I mean, we can check. Maybe Dolores is fine, too. Um, maybe Dolores is fine, too. Honestly? They're literally the same. What did it say on the thing? But Mary Jane is so good, right? <laughs> uh, so you need water. You need food. So we need food and water tomorrow for the first two. Um, Dolores, the Ted is gonna die. I don't think Ted is gonna die. Ted will be fine. But let MJ, Mary Jane is more than ready to go out, right? Dolores is fine. Yeah, I don't know. Um, honestly, Dolores, I, Dolores did really good last time. And then we'll get like, you know what's gonna happen as soon as we send MJ out there? We're gonna get the spider event again, or well, I guess we can't get that one. But we're gonna get the ooze event, and then we're gonna feel so bad that we didn't keep Mary Jane to get the mutant Mary Jane. So let's just stick with Mary Jane. I know she's good at expeditions, but we really have to try. I mean, I guess if we die trying to get mutant Mary Jane, it's not really gonna matter. The game does love to screw you over like that. It's really just gonna be... I mean, Mary Jane is insane in Expedition, right? Sure. We're gonna send Mary Jane, but what do we give her? Do we give her the... Bullets? Maybe? I don't really want to give her the book. Because that can do... Uh, I think we give her bullets. She might die here, and then it's on your conscience. I'm not taking responsibility for this... For this death. The book we need to keep for the potential twins ending. So we, we will just send her bullets, I guess. MJ, according to the wiki, is the worst in expeditions. All right, people lied to me. <laughs> people have lied. All right, we'll be fine, though. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so what what happened? Oh, no. Is this... Uh, we needed... I see something bad. What was it? Food, water, right? Food, water, and then water tomorrow for Ted. Timmy's just sick. So water for you tomorrow. Um, it was definitely water for Dolores. Um, when someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from where the bombs dropped. But from here when the bombs dropped, we thought it would be only, only be good manners to talk to them face to face. When we opened the doors, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spiked table leg? We need to fight back? Fucking grandmas? <laughs> well, how am I gonna fight back with this, bro? <laughs> I'm getting beat up by grandmas. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Alright, well, I guess we'll use the lock thing. <laughs> Meow, cat's back. Wait, was the cat already back before? I didn't really pay attention. Okay, what happened there? We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad the padlock to no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits. Okay, we're gonna die, dude. No, we're so fucked. Water for you. Uh, I'll give food to Timmy. Demon is still only sick. You're still only sick. A loud crash, a surprise sh shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start of the day. As it turns out, Jericho found a new toy. A bit of innocuous wiring. So we're not going to do this one. That it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable is for. But our lights are still on. So it can't be that important, right? Do we take the So this leads to spy ending for the cat. Which we've already done the spy ending. So let's not do the spy ending again. Uh, no one needs food tomorrow, right? No one needs anything tomorrow. We're not gonna do that. How is Timmy still alive? Timmy's a damn tank. Knock, knock. Uh, is that bad? Is this gonna be bandits again? It's been two days since last bandits, bro. We don't really want to risk pissing off Sherikov by taking its toy away. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. Let's just leave it be. The wire, wire is probably useless. Okay, what's gonna happen here? No one needs anything. But Dolores needs food tomorrow, and Timmy needs water tomorrow. So, food and water. The siblings. See, I told you we needed the book. Holy shit! 
The siblings and their friendly group came by the shelter today to inform us that their camp has been f has been finished. Now they wish to establish a sort of schooling system within the camp. Some of the kids didn't even manage to learn to read before the bombs fell. They need any books they can get their hands on to educate their youngsters. And so far, the only reading material they found were some com communist pro propaganda flyers. So this is actually Ted absolutely carrying because Ted brought this back. And then next time we win. So if Mary Jane comes back, we can actually finish with everyone alive. It's all up to Mary Jane coming back or not. If Mary Jane survives, everyone lives. Come on, Mary Jane. You got this. I believe in you. Okay, so food tomorrow and water tomorrow. Come on, please. No, no more knocking, please. It's gonna be bandits again. Dude, it's been two, it's been three days since the last bandit event, bro. We gifted them our beloved scout handbook. It will do for younger, don't be bandits, please. But one day they will have to establish a complete education system. How about the kids paying 10,000 soup cans to participate in the lessons? We're sure they would find a way to give it back after they finish school and get some sort of job in the wasteland. Makes perfect sense. Yes, okay, so f food and water. And then food for Ted tomorrow. We've had the- Oh, it's the Monty Python event! That's so good! We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some sort of magical cup, only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. They usually just give you stuff for this. So that could be huge. Okay, so food tomorrow and that's it. Come on. Give us, give us, give us water. Water. <coughs> Someone's sick? Water. I mean, I, they were already sick. They didn't give us water at all. They gave us an axe! We can protect ourselves against bandits! Thank you! They were clearly crazy but harmless, so we fulfilled their request and it was worth it. They turned out to be very generous and gave us an axe! They claimed it was a magical battle axe, but to us it just looks like a regular one. Whatever, as long as the blade is sharp. Okay, that's huge. I was actually so scared that if an abandoned event showed up early, we would die before we could get the victory. Okay, so water. No! Okay, Ted needs, or Timmy needs to... So this is where you need to heal them. Because it says deceased, which means that they will die if you don't give them a med kit. But luckily we saved it for this moment. So we're going to have to give Dolores water tomorrow, right? She was not thirsty yesterday the water tomorrow and that's it being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there but it doesn't mean we don't want to go outside maybe we could take a walk soon the neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombing the ted is ted was sick like 20 days later than timmy so he'll probably have a quite a while um probably okay so dolores needs water tomorrow and that's only thing please yeah, we and she comes back Water, water, water. Oh my God, Mary Jane. She actually did it. No way we can get a victory. The twins just need to show up and we can actually keep everyone alive. It can happen. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We went on a trip to a more specific place this time, a local museum on Tranquility Lane. Several rooms and a corridor wall decorated with some charred paintings that had survived the blast. The whole place doesn't even look that bad. It's almost like a modern art exhibit. In front of the museum canteen, we found a box with some water bottles in it. It was probably left there by some delivery company. That delivery company is probably out of business now. Our guess is that it was blown out of the market. <laughs> Between the rubble, we found a half-destroyed statue of a lady. She didn't have a lot of clothes on, save for the gas mask somebody put on her face. Probably as a joke, we were hesitant to approach as the lady was dressed immodestly. But, we di but then we saw she was holding an urn. As long as there's an urn, it's art, and it's okay to look at it. Everyone knows that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, we also get a lock, which is good for protecting against uh, bandits. The gift shop was in a sorry state. The writing in this game is so good, by the way. Holy shit. Uh, the gift shop was in a sorry state. While it's still standing, the whole place was flooded with souvenirs and junk, or both. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. The only useful thing we found was a padlock that was securing the safe behind the counter. The safe itself was empty, of course. Much I'm paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just, okay, so we can defend against two bandit attacks, which is huge. We now need... Okay, so she's sick too, which is unfortunate. Water for Ted, right? What do we need? We needed two. Th no, was it just water for Dolores and that was it, right? And then Ted to water tomorrow? I think. I remember only Dolores. And then Ted tomorrow. 
and then hopefully we can have no more expeditions we need this wa we need this water to last us until victory so tomorrow it's ted water and that's it um yeah that was crazy okay no expedition something is missing let's see fan hmm, check strange noises in our pipes check hellish yells outside check oh dolores hasn't spoken Hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it. And it's really strange. Talking to her will be a good idea. Okay. Uh, Ed doesn't need water, right? Not today. Am I crazy or did he... I swear I said only Dolores. And then... I mean, we can do it. I guess we can do it just for safety. It's fine. All right. Let's talk to her. Knock, knock, knock. This could be twins. This could be the ending. Or it could be bandits. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. All right, so let's see. So no one needed anything, right? So you need food tomorrow. You need food tomorrow. You need food tomorrow. So everyone... Well, I guess we have so much food. Uh, is this actually twins? We welcomed a probably crazy alleged... Oh, no. Scientists into our shelter today. Turns out Shirokov is not only an incredibly ill-mannered pet, but also the scientist's highly valued assistant, whom he called Dr. Shirokov. The cat's disappearance has left the dog struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as compensation for keeping his helper, helper away. The cat didn't care. It clearly wants to stay. The dog might be really crazy, but maybe his knowledge is something that can help us out in the long run. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? So, I mean, I guess I have no choice here. Come on. Please come back. <coughs> Please, twins. You need to save us. Come on, twins. Head is hungry, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, no. No, he's fine. So you need food. You need food. You need food. And they need water tomorrow. Mary Jane and Timmy need water tomorrow. Um. Okay. I really need you guys to help remind... Because I'm focusing on so many other things. I really need support in the, like, feeding department. Uh, we're not doing... We're not doing that. Sure, times are hard. And there isn't much need to shave anymore. But beards are still not welcome in this house. Any means of cutting a beard is acceptable. Say that axe looks quite sharp. No! It's tomorrow. What are tomorrow? I don't I swear they didn't were they weren't dehydrated. You guys uh, do we do this? Trim the beard? Let's do it. Yes, it's it's fun. Okay, sure, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. <laughs> This better not chop off his head, or I'm gonna become the Joker. <laughs> you piece! He cut his. Uh, are you guys suck? What have you done to me? Ouch! Turns out an axe is not as good as a replacement for a razor. What have you done, chat? I was not gonna do that. Now he's hurt, bro. You fucked me. <laughs> Okay, so Ted needs food tomorrow, and Timmy needs food tomorrow. That's all. God damn it. I mean, I guess I can... I'll just give them food now, because there's no chance the water will last that long anyway. Uh, we're not doing expedition. Our army isn't coming, not yet anyway. Okay, so we can do the... I guess we'll do more. I don't think it's going to matter, because the twins are coming back anyway. That's today's radio. I honestly think we don't do this. I honestly think fuck the military, because we know the twins is at the very last step. So the twins are coming back soon. And then we don't waste the axe, which might kill us if there's bandits. So we can save the axe. That's today's news. Instead, they have been broadcasting a request for all citizens to assist them by cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if some fancy general needs it for a fireplace or what, but they suggested it's either that or no evacuation. All right, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it because there's literally no point. Because we're already on the last step of the next ending anyway. Okay, so everyone is getting there. So no one gets anything tomorrow. No one gets anything tomorrow. We're skipping this one. So we keep the axe. Knock, knock. This might be twins. This might be it. We're not lumberjacks. Okay, no one gets anything today, but what is the situation tomorrow? Water, water. Water, water. Okay, come on. The cat. No! Stop, scientist, man. You're baiting me every fucking time, bro. The cat disappeared for a short while and came back with a note on its collar. It's signed by the scientist. He says he's being followed by a couple of weird men in head and hats and sunglasses, making him temporarily going into hiding. His note mentions the construction of some sort of transportation contraption. Few details were provided, but apparently it can get us out of this hellhole. 
It still needs to be stocked with supplies, which is where we come in. He wants us to stockpile several cans of soup. The doc will come pick them up soon. Fuck you, man. All right, so water, water. That's all we need tomorrow. Nothing else. God damn it. Yeah, we almost have the... Uh... So there's still several different endings that I haven't gotten. So there's definitely way more for us to do. Uh, Ted, no, don't be deceased. Okay. We need water, water. And then what's for tomorrow? Tomorrow is... Let's see. Tomorrow is only food for Mary Jane. That's all. Nothing else. Food for Mary Jane. That's all. Okay. Um, play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so horrible. Okay. Don't be scientists. I swear to fuck. And don't be bandits again as well. We played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted for around 10 seconds. And that was only because the lights went out for a moment. <laughs> okay, so just... Food. What do we need tomorrow? Food and nothing. So only food for Dolores. That's all we need tomorrow. Please, please, please. No! <laughs> you fucking bitch. Fuck this guy, dude. He's been annoying the whole time. <laughs> the doc came knocking to our door to collect the supplies that he requested. They're, an import they're important. They're unimportant for the project, he said. You can't trust him. After all, he's a doctor. I can't do it, sir. I don't have the food. God damn it, go away. This better be the fucking twins, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, wait, wait what, what is the... It's just food, right? And then tomorrow is food, water, water. So food, nothing, water, water. Food, nothing, water, water. All right. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? Yes! I think this is it. Unless I get turbo-baited by bandits here, I think this is a victory with everyone alive. Did we do it? The end? This better be good. Yes, dude! We did it! Everyone lives! Nice! That was actually uh, my second objective for today, which I did not think we would get that on the first try, baby. Let's go! We were ecstatic when our friends came over today to officially invite us into their new camp. The siblings said they are incredibly grateful for all the help and assistance we've provided. They claim the whole thing wouldn't be possible without us. They swear they already made a separate house for us, all furnished and with some of our own supplies. And there are plenty of families waiting to meet us there. We can't wait to be between people again. Maybe the world isn't as bad as it looks. We can't wait to start our new, more peaceful and normal life. Goodbye, little shelter. You have been our home for a long time, but today it's time to move on and the future is looking really bright. So let's go. We actually did it. The perfect, perfect playthrough, basically. Everyone survived. Day 49. Uh, we missed out on a lumberjack career. It also, oh, it skips days if there's nothing interesting happening on those days. Interesting. That's insane. Dude, how is this going to look like? The final thing. Let's go! Special music! I did not hear that before. Everyone lived, baby. We had five successful, ex successful expeditions. That is insane, dude. That's so good. Days to buy 49 water soup. So yeah, you need around eight. Eight water and nine soup. I mean, I did give them quite a bit of soup. That was amazing, dude. What a run. Let's go. <laughs> Screenshot. Yeah, right there. Alrighty, well, that is going to be it for that video. That was an incredible run. And in the next one, we're obviously going to keep going for Mutant Mary Jane. And we're also going to try and get the tank ending, which we have been bu building pieces of this tank for a long time now. And it's about time that we finally use it to escape. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to see more 60 seconds, you can watch the playlist over on the top right. I really hope you enjoy. I'll see you around. Have a good one. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>